Welcome to Bam Bam Arama. Well, we got the Schmeets. Welcome to Bam Bam We got the Schmeets. We got the Schmeets. Welcome to the Bam Bam Arama podcast. We're once again on my back porch. We're trying a couple new techniques because we're not, we don't have everything that we're used to having for recording the podcast. Sound quality might be a little off, so please bear with us and forgive us, but I don't know. It's kind of nice to be sitting out here on a Sunday morning. Because we all know that in West Texas, in about three hours, it's going to be too hot to exist outside. Yeah, absolutely. And I kind of like the the thought of like maybe getting some lapels and doing this more often just to fix the audio, you know? I think so, too. Honestly, I think think when we do end up in the same city, which it sounds like we're going to end up here for at least a year, um, I think it'd be nice to sit on this porch and do some more podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can even... You know, doctor up the set, if you will. We could put like, I don't know. What do you think? Like a naked woman right here? Like a naked Medusa? I want something that really represents us. So a naked Medusa would be perfect. I think so, yeah. Whereas if you turn a stone if you look into her titties. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Her snake titties. Her snake titties. Yeah, there'll be a little snakes coming out of her nipples. Hmm. Sorry, I turned to stone. In my head <laughs> turned to stone for a minute. In the daydreaming. Uh, anyway, right, I'm going to interject a story real quick. Earlier, I was getting Oliver dressed, and he said he told me he needed a shirt. And you know why he said he needed a shirt? Because he did not want Uncle Adrian to see his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so funny. Like specifically, he was like, "Daddy, I need a shirt." <laughs> I don't want to see. I don't want, I don't want to, Uncle Andrew to see my nipples. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. I don't know. All right, but I mean, you know what? I mean, if he, if the boy wants to protect his nipples, I mean, he, he runs around in his underwear, and I'm like, dude, put some clothes on. He's like, now, now, and then he gains some modesty randomly, <laughs> right? I don't know. So we're here. So this week we got to do something really cool. Yeah, it came down for a, an important project, uh, something that's uh, not normal for us, uh, which is more fun, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, especially because, you know, uh, we're just learning. Uh, it's really cool to approach it from someone else's perspective so you can, you know, learn their tactics and, and any shortcuts that they've got that are viable shortcuts uh, uh, for your process and right. et cetera. But yeah, we, we got to work with you guys uh, known as Film Hunter Media. Film Hunter Media. The Hunter Media, they have a website available. Sorry, I guess we should explain what they do before we start pushing people to their website, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> so Film Hunter Media, they're uh, videographers here in Midland, Texas. They work on all sorts of projects, documentaries. Media. They got a YouTube channel, so you can check out uh, some of their stuff on there. When you think about like high quality television worthy stuff, you don't think two guys out of Midland, Texas. Not uh, usually. And these guys are killing it. They're doing great. And they wrote a horror comedy short. And they asked us to help, I guess, essentially produce it with them. It was a lot of fun. We got to, we spent, what, three, four hours filming it Wednesday. And it was definitely a new experience for us. I mean, we obviously, we've filmed sketches. We've filmed our podcast. But we are all throwing, we're throwing it together at our level and learning how to do this um, as we're going. Learning by doing, I guess you would say. Right. Um, whereas... In this situation, we got to sit, well, not, we got to work on a live set with guys who do this regularly and professionally. It was a new experience. I know I got to learn a few things from that. I'm sure yeah, you I mean, did. I was too. terrified the whole time and I wasn't even in front of the camera. Huge, uh, huge opportunity in that way. Uh, not only for the educational, you know, self-education part, but also they're going to start shopping it around. Yeah, which um, is really cool. So... We might be able to see you on a YouTube, uh, you know, 2023 festival or maybe 2024. I don't know how it works, uh, you know, on the titles and oh yeah, how they, yeah. But I don't know how any of it works. I don't know how any of that works. Yeah, hopefully, I think they said they're going to shop it around and put it in the festival circuit. Really looking forward to it and getting to be a part of that experience. One thing to say, Adrian said he wasn't even in front of the, car- the camera. I was the one that had to be in front of the camera most of the time. Had a lot of fun, but I won't. And he said, and I was nervous. And I won't lie. I spent, I had the script for probably like three months. The greater part of the last two weeks, I put around half of that script to memory. 
And the second we walked on that set, I couldn't remember a damn thing. <laughs> Sometimes it's how it is. Yeah. But they were really helpful. It was really awesome. I really can't wait to see the finished product. I think we got about 90% of it filmed. There's one scene left, and then I have to go in and do some ADR as well, too. Got it. But that's what's the beauty about it is that when you find the right people who aren't trying to like gatekeep you and you know be those people, you end up getting this big welcoming, and it is just a huge push. So in that sense, uh, we're going to be producing a little bit more sketches. I don't want to say a lot more because I don't want to oversell it, and I don't want to bite off more than we can chew in that way. No, absolutely not. But we definitely are promising we're coming up with yeah. more. So we actually have, uh, I would say, one, three things in stone that we could probably record if we had the time today uh, to start working on to get out to you within you know, probably about a 30-day turnaround. So as soon as we can get, I guess, in that sense, me moved into Midland, Texas, uh, yeah. we'll be able to start working on that sooner than later. Uh, so part of the deal is we need to be in the same city to make this work. This is where, where the city is. Yeah. And Adrian is kind enough to move to Midland to make this happen. There's, there's, there's air here. There's air. I'll live. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So very excited, very happy, uh, very grateful to anybody that's still um, tagging along with us. What we've got isn't always great, but we do know that in each thing we've got, there is at least one thing that if you watch the whole thing, it would be worth it to everybody. Uh, I would stand by that for all of them. Uh, Sometimes they start slow. Keep pushing through with us, please. And we don't want to overpromise, but we are going to try to get into some new, varied, not varied con content, but we want to we want to release something that's not just a WWE sketch. We want to, so we're talking about some ideas that we'll okay. play some different characters. Right. When I say those three things, I mean different than the wrestling guys. Yeah. I not know it was something you wanted to do back when there was a moment in time where Netflix was entertaining open ideas from the public as well. I was watching a show. And I was like, I need to keep this idea. And I just held on to this thought of anytime that there's a chance, I'm going to try to get this idea work. Right. But the whole time, because, I mean, we had filmed the, we were doing the movie work at this time. Yeah, we were doing. Uh, which was 2010, 2008. Uh, yeah. And we had still were trying to, each year after that, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, up until probably 2020, uh, I've been harassing this man. <laughs> And I'm not trying to put it all on your shoulders, but let's, you know, for the sake of the little yeah. humor here, I've been harassing this man for that footage. I, mean, I won't lie. There was a moment in time where I gave up on that movie ever being a thing. So, right. so I was very demotivated when you were like, Hey, get that, get me that footage. I was like, you know, what the fuck ever. Like, I don't, I'll and be I, completely honest. I totally get that. But so this is the thing is, and I'm not saying it to pick on you. I'm saying it is that yeah. in the back of my head from all of that, I've been trying to do something with it. Yeah. We're actually uh, doing it. We are. Uh, so we'll say eight are. years or so I've had this idea. And it's all been together with the movie. And the movie was just, the movie was always in my the back of my head. Also, like, this is where I want to learn how to do these things. At the time, I was going to use a pirated version of Adobe uh, Premiere and those types of programs to get it nice. done. Now, you know, we're paying them. It's, it's way easier. If you don't know and you want to try to do this kind of stuff, you can pay a monthly subscription, which is easier to afford for someone. Of course, there's free things like DaVinci Resolve. There's Blender where you can get into 3D modeling, Unreal Engine. If you have a dream of making videos, whether it's a full-fledged movie, whether it's your sketches, sketches on uh, YouTube, do it. Don't wait for somebody to confirm or validate your ideas. Uh, they're going to gatekeep you. They're going to tell you, uh, I would do it this way. Because no matter what you say, it's not going to be good enough for that person next to you. True. You got to be able to, to turn to somebody and say, look, not, not all your ideas are my cup of tea, but we're going to go with all of your ideas because those are your cup of tea. And when you find those partnerships, whether it's a long lasting one or those individuals that can turn themselves off in your conversations, just do your videos. Get out there and do it no matter what. For real. And, and on that same note, there's audio stuff. If, if it's music, uh, I don't have them on the top of my head because I haven't been in that world in a while. Uh, Audacity uh, comes to mind. Uh, uh, there was one point in time where Fruity Loops, but well, Fruity Loops Fruity was a loop Loops, builder, right? Band Lab. Uh, Band Lab is like Fruity Loops online for free. Yeah. Elevator music is somebody uh, threw at me and I right. think that's the perfect word for it. Those are made in Band Lab. I'm not saying they're impressive, but I'm saying if you have the time and understanding of it, 
Also, I think if you buy a MacBook, I'm not trying to tell you to buy a MacBook, it still comes with GarageBand, right? And GarageBand, you can record. And, and iMovie. And iMovie. Which, so there's two programs right there you can make music videos with, or music and videos. Put them together. I don't know. Uh, and then lastly, uh, YouTube University, as some people call it. We just went to VidCon, and I've heard, I heard that thrown around a little bit there. Uh, you can learn a whole lot from those guys. If you don't have the money for college, uh, money for certificate programs, uh, at least get yourself started. Because I feel I'm, way more confident now than I ever have about doing this. And I still know I've got years and 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 years away. But if I listened to some of those naysayers, I'd be stuck where I was, not doing any of it, not having fun with my best friend, not waking up the next day going, man, what, what new idea can I do? I'd be thinking, ah, another day, another paycheck. Another day, another paycheck. Just saying. Another day of the man telling me what to do. Another day of the man telling me what to do. That's really, it's been fun getting into this experiment and i mean it's a lot of work and it's hard and i won't lie just because we're best friends don't make it easy no no <laughs> no we constantly still butt heads yeah uh i think the the worst day was probably the during the power ranger shoot mostly i mean i was tired i was in a lot of pain you we ran out of time fast you also how do i put it you i mean you spent two days making those costumes i know i helped but i very little helped and it's not because i didn't want to it's because for one i didn't I will be honest, I didn't recognize how much time was needed, so I didn't make myself as available as I needed to, and I apologize about that. Also, uh, my apology accepted, by th the way. Thank you. The uh, I also don't have that great of craft skills, so I needed, I like when I was in there, I was like, I just need you to tell me what to do, and, I was and gonna maybe say, I can do it. In your defense, it's, it's also hard, too, when you don't have your vision written down for someone. Yeah. If anybody that's made any kind of craft knows that when you stop, to do what you're doing, it takes almost just as much time to get back into it each time as it did the first time. Yeah. Even if it's just turning something on and off, uh, you, it's just like a game mode thing. Yeah. Um, so when you go to show somebody a part of the project, so it's not exactly easy for somebody to be the the helping hand to somebody that's mm -hmm. Edward Scissor hands and that <laughs> stuff, because that's probably that's what true. it looked like in a lot of like <laughs> just going crazy making these uh, cardboard costumes that look. So yeah. cheesy, but I'm still in love with them. Dude, I mean, they came out so good. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> so if you like Power Rangers stuff, uh, we made an homage to Power Rangers. Uh, unfortunately, just so you know, uh, we lost the Green Ranger actor, Jason David Frank, re uh, right after that. So if you are holding on to that little project or something, I encourage you to do it because life is short, guys. Uh, the reality is, is that you don't get second chances. You get older and then you get less, fewer and fewer first chances. Can I say, I think on one of my favorite podcasts, Smart List, they had the guest Idris Elba. I think he said it the best. I'm doing my best to quote what he said. He said, you're born, you're here for a little bit, and then you're gone. So make that little bit something that you enjoyed. And I think that's like the way he said it. I'm not, I'm honestly still not doing it justice, but the way he said it really hit my, really hit my heart. And I was like, that, that's what I want to do. And I mean, it, it was honestly, it was also awesome to hear because as some of y'all know, I mean, I quit being a teacher to do this, taking a big jump. I love teaching. So it was nerve wracking. But then not gonna lie, I saw a few movies that were kind of like, you need to do things that you need to make some jumps and do this. I heard. Make oh, some, you like saw some inspirational inspir clips and Inspirational stuff. movies. Just move. Well, no, like even the Mario movie was okay, like okay. kind of inspirational to like, because they quit a steady job to follow their dream. I mean, we just you watched know? the Barbie movie and I feel way more motivated. For real. Like, like, I know some of you guys are like hating on it, but if you don't get the empowerment of men message in that, dude, like that really made me feel like not only can some people rationalize now that uh, women aren't to be held under your thumb, but it also made me feel more like a dude. For real, like yeah. in a in a way better way. It was a good movie and a really good movie about equality. Honestly, yeah, it really was a good movie about equality in the best way. Uh, yeah. I still can't wait to watch Oppenheimer so we can watch how people try to remove equality. Yes, um, by force and in the name of equality. <laughs> <laughs> Were we did we do Barbenheimer wrong? Were we supposed to do Oppenheimer first and then watch Barbie? Barb. In Heimer? Okay. Or is it supposed to be watched in uh, chronological order? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I think Barbenheimer was really a ploy to get people to go to movies again. What if we watch Oppenheimer and then we come out really demotivated? And we're just like, really, mm -hmm. really demoted. We just quit. Sucks. We, <laughs> su we suck. Those people who don't actually act or actually write or actually do any of the things that uh, they criticize me right. for doing were right. They were right. 
all those all those really big haters who say yeah. haters are going to hate be, you know to you but then talk about you behind your back they were right they were right uh, oh man all those people who say that you shouldn't listen to the shitty people of the world and they were being the shitty people of the world they were, they were right, right. Oh. oh you haters just <laughs> <laughs> so on the note of making videos make check sure out. you, you uh, check out Louie and the Liars on Spotify or Apple Music they have a music video is it coming out, out finally the music video comes out in August it's August now so I think in, I think next week it comes out maybe oh my gosh dude they've been teasing us for way they've too been long. teasing us for a minute and I don't know when the new full album drops but I think this is their single off of the new album St. Teresa August 11th so August, less than a week less than a week so August 11th make sure you're watching for uh, Louie and the Liars new YouTube or not YouTube um, music, music video. video I don't know where they're gonna drop it but if you follow their Instagram you should be able to get the link yeah that's where i got this info from also uh, on the 24th if you're in the midland odessa area i'm playing with john panky and dirty dave at bar 10 in odessa yes. it's a thursday night and actually i figured out it's the same night as something i was already i was looking forward to and that was um Wrestling. good good mythical evening oh. is live that night so if you're a good mythical morning fan and you want to watch good mythical evening you can actually you can get it on demand to watch later and still come watch me. You're probably not a good Mythical Morning fan, so just come watch me. <laughs> Anything else, Adrian? Uh, uh, just shy of the boof it, you know? Do it. And uh, whenever you're out there doing it, make sure that you remember that you uh, can always learn something from somebody new, and they can always learn something from you. That's absolutely true. Love you. Love you. Uh,